Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at the Hayabusa 2 mission and why it's going to be 20 times harder than the first one. We've got an update on Bepi Colombo heading to Mercury, and we'll look at the last 24 hours on our star. Let's start there with space weather. Here's the last day on the sun, and once again, very quiet. The M-class solar flare range is being reached, but just barely. No CME production or eruptive behavior in Earth's direction. There are several plasma filaments I'm monitoring for destabilization, and there are a flurry of sunspot groups as well. They are morphing and shifting, but we're not getting much in the way of solar flares. One incoming group on the south has a fair amount of complexity and is likely a candidate for flaring. I've got eyes on that one. They're gearing up for the Hayabusa 2 mission. You may recall they landed on an asteroid not long ago, and they're going to try it again. Except this time, they're going to be trying it on an asteroid that is much much smaller. The landing of this mission will be vastly more detailed and difficult, and it is also worth mentioning there are many people who hate these missions because of the risk of returning asteroid samples to Earth, biologically and otherwise. They hope to nail this one in 2031. Speaking of missions that are on their way, Bepi Colombo is doing flybys of Mercury as it tightens up for orbital insertion. They're going to get some basic data on Mercury's magnetic field now. We don't have enough of that data in detail yet to see if the field is changing at Mercury compared to what Messenger's data revealed 10 to 15 years ago, but they are getting closer to finding out about the last on the list of planets having significant changes. Folks, we are seven weeks from the premiere of the documentary on Earth's disaster cycle, the full public release between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and our sponsor, goldobservers.com, is the reason why the film will be free for everyone. They are currently offering up to a 10% match on silver, and if you haven't gotten to the precious metal part of your prepping, you are indeed a bit behind. Catch up and keep it in the Observer family, goldobservers.com, for now, for the decline, and for the aftermath. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.